Hello, my name is Roy. I'm a Japanese-American citizen, and ever since Pearl Harbor happened, the Americans seem not to trust me and other people like me. Because to them, if one Japanese-American citizen is bad, then all of them are. Now, the Americans want all the Japanese-American citizens to be shipped off to internment camps where we can be held so we know we're trusted. Ever since the war has started, things have gone really downhill. Today I was notified by an American soldier that in a week I need to have my stuff packed and get ready to get on a train so I can go to an internment camp. Well, today's the day to leave, and the worst part is I can't even bring my dog, and I had to sell my store before I leave. That sucks, and I had to sell it for super cheap, because the person that wanted to buy it knew that I had to leave. Today I arrived at the camp. I was assigned a room and a job. My job is a teacher, even though I have no idea how to do that. Many Japanese American citizens show change by being able to change from normal lives into the lives of internment camps. Well, today's my first day at camp. I was told that I'm in Granada, Colorado. Sounds like the middle of nowhere. And last night was terrible, sleeping in a 9x9 nine nine room with three other people. And then after work, as a teacher, I roamed around camp. Camp conditions were not good. The bathrooms and showers were disgusting, and everyone had a share. Camp conditions weren't good in the internment camps. They were usually not well kept and very cheap. For about three years of normal camp life, the camp commanders handed out a questionnaire. The questionnaire had basic questions, except for questions 27 and 28. They asked, would you stay loyal to the U.S., and would you like to join the U.S. military? Many people answered yes to both, but I said no. Why would I be loyal or want to join their military when they treated me like this? It's now year 1945. News has spread against the camp that the war is now over, and we will be let soon free. So many people are very happy inside the camp. Now that I'm out of the camp, I can either go back to Japan or stay here as an American citizen. But I heard that in Japan, there were two atomic bombs dropped, and the economy and government is very unstable. So I chose to live here. Except for here, they said they might even take away my citizenship because I answered no to the two questions in the questionnaire. The president at the time didn't do much. He really just kind of skipped over the issue. The Japanese people really wanted our citizenship back and our money back for the time we lost in the internment camps, but that didn't happen until about 1960s. It was in the 1960s that the Japanese American prisoners who survived the internments later regained their American citizenship. Freedom was theirs, and they were proud of it. It was only in 1990 when President George W. Bush wrote a handwritten letter to every Japanese-American internment prisoner that was still alive. In the letter included a check for $20,000 to compensate them for all time lost while in the internment camps. Now the question, how did Japanese-American internment prisoners illustrate change? Hmm, there are many answers to this. First, Japanese American internment prisoners illustrated change in about three ways. First off, they had a change from their normal lives as a citizen with freedom ship to a person that is detained in a gated community and told what to do. Also, the Japanese American internment prisoners illustrated change from going into a closed captivity place back into the real world.